This is Daria Shabad with CorporateProfile.com reporting on the news for Monday, August 20th, 2012. For months, China has been shaken by one of the biggest political scandals in Chinese modern history, one that was riddled with corruption and culminating in the murder of the British businessman Neil Haywood. Today, Gu Kailai, the wife of fallen Politburo member Boxilai, is sentenced to death for poisoning Neil Haywood as he was threatening to expose her corrupt financial dealings with a suspended execution, which basically means that she will go away for life in prison. Bo himself is to stand trial for corruption, abuse of power, and other similar misbehavior. May justice always prevail and the death penalty abolished? I would love to use this opportunity to open a debate on the death penalty. Do you out there believe the death penalty should still be a part of our modern society? Post your comments. And from Russia with love, Putin continues to have his funny way with his opposition. From old to young, from the previously little-known pussy riot punk rock band to world star performer Madonna, showing us once again his true colors, those of the Soviet era, where he seemingly feels most comfortable doing his due. We all know that Russia's opposition and social unrest is growing stronger, and the recent sentencing of Russian punk rock band to two years in prison has been received by the world with massive protests and condemnation of Putin's regime. Let's review what the young women of Pussy Riot actually did. February 21st, Pussy Riot staged a slightly obscene flash mob performance of their song in vicinity of the altar of a Moscow cathedral, and in a prayer they implored the Virgin Mary to get rid of Putin. So we understand the girls are definitely anti-Putin. Why did they do it in a cathedral, you may ask? Because currently the situation in Russia is such that the Orthodox Church has literally turned into the lapdog of Putin. Good boy, good boy, who's a good boy? To elaborate, in the US, what the Pussy Riot Band did would have been met with a maximum charge of misdemeanor, with community service as a consequence. Definitely not two years in prison. So so, in conclusion, the bad news is Putin continues to suck big time. Even Madonna thinks so, who is currently being sued by Russian anti-gay activists. Good news, now we all know who Pussy Riot is, and to spite Putin, we should make them rich and famous so that they can buy Greece and live there happily ever after. Pussy Riot, girl power. Other sad news are coming from the world of entertainment, as the announcement of Tony Scott's suicide hits the media headlines. We all remember his success as director of blockbuster triumphs such as Top Gun, Days of Thunder, Man on Fire, and my personal favorite of his, The Enemy of the State. Our thoughts are with his family and friends. Mr. Scott, you will be missed. Have a great day, everyone, and may the odds be ever in your favor. I'm Daria Shabad with CorporateProfile.com, reporting directly from Wall Street. Thank you for watching, and please tune in again for more hot financial and world news.